Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day. has gone by so fast and the holidays have came even faster like I, it feels like it was just Christmas last year like that year barely left and now it's in a new year so I don't know but it feels great I love the holiday season I'm always joyful cheerful I love decorating like decorating is everything to me so that is why today's video is my house tour finally Overdue, everybody has been asking to see my decorations inside my house. I just wasn't always 100% complete because I'm always like adding things, switching things, and I'm finally comfortable with what I have and how I have it all set up. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. And I don't know if it's going to be a walkthrough or an overview, but either way, I will show you and tell you where I got my stuff from if you guys are curious. So stay tuned for the video. So the first place we're going to start is my door. I do have a sign on the inside of it and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year and it's just deers and I got this at the Dollar Tree and the snow is glittery. It's just super cute. I love it. And throughout my house, you guys are going to notice I do not have a theme. It's just anything I liked, anything I thought that was cute. I just put it all together and if it matched, it matched. So I have that right there. Here to the door, or next to the door I should say, I have an letter board and I just put like how many days, it's going to be like our countdown till Christmas, so it's 20 days till Christmas and it says be merry, so I just have that right there so everyone can see it, and then next to it is my favorite, the stocking holder, our kids stockings, and I will get into detail right now. So here is the stocking holder, I got it at Marshalls for $8.99. I fell in love with it. It was the last one. I had to grab it and I was just like, it's it. I've never had a stocking holder before. So seeing this one, it just like made me super happy and it was the last one. So I felt like it was meant to be, but it says stockings were hung and it's in wood. It has glitter all over it. The little Christmas trees, the hooks. I feel like it's more for like the baby stockings, not for like the big ones like this because the hooks are so close together and um, it would probably work better for like the baby stockings, but I'm just using it for these for now. Uh, I feel like it looks well. I mean, I feel like it goes well, I should say, with the stockings that I picked for our kids. So the boys got this like red and black pattern and it has a Santa belt. And then of course the letters to their names. I got these like three years ago at Walmart for 98 cents, super cheap. And then Naraya's stocking is obviously the different one because she is our only girl. And hers is a white furry stocking with little like little fur balls on the sides. I love it. Like when I seen it, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my God, I want that stocking. But I got it for my princess. And I feel like the boy's stocking goes really well with it. And it just complements each other. So as I was saying, um, I just like them. I feel like they complement each other. They go really well with each other and it's just something different. I always just get regular red stockings and I always like just put their letter on it, but I wanted something different this year, something with more of a style. So I really like these Santa ones with the pattern for the boys and then for Naraya, that little fluffy one. Then you'll come to my living room and you'll see our couches that are right here. I don't have anything like decorative on them, but the little bear that we got last year for Christmas, um, it says 2017, it's a Christmas bear. And I feel like it just goes with the boys stocking and it gives it like more of a, like a throw pillow vibe, I don't know. I'm always hugging it, so it's very soft and very comfortable, but it matches the boys stockings as you guys can tell. 
so I thought that was cute to just put right there. I don't have a throw pillow for my couches. I wanted to get one this year. I just totally forgot, honestly, and I don't know, maybe a little too late to add one. I don't know, maybe I'll add one later, but I really wanted a throw pillow. I just couldn't find one. Uh, I feel like I need to go like to Ross or Marshalls to go find a cute one that will like kind of match that pattern. And then over here next to our TV, we have our Christmas tree, of course, but I have a more in detailed video. If you guys want to click the link right here to go check out our first Vlogmas video that was decorating our Christmas tree, you guys can check that out. So I'm not really going to go into detail, but our tree is right here. And then we have a Merry Christmas sign right here. It's gold. It just goes with the Christmas tree. I've had it for years. I think I got it at Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, one of those places, but there's that, our tree, and then when you come next to our tree, we have this like winter wonderland set up. It's on glass shelves. This is how my other glass shelf looks that I didn't really show, but so I'm gonna go into detail on this one right now. I have the day that it is, the Jesus sign, it's glittery, and then a little Christmas bouquet type of thing. It's like a pine, co pine cone thing. It's glittery, it's gold, it's cute. Then the shelf next to our tree is pretty much like my favorite thing. And it has like Christmas everything on it. Kids did want to display the elf books on here, so I just put the two elf books up here. And then there's their advent calendar, and then the snowman. It sings and dances. My mom actually got this for us when we were kids, like my little sister and I. So I don't like to keep it down, I don't want them to break it, so I keep it really high. The little tin can Santa, I just put sunglasses in there. And then down here is little Christmas land. My mom got that for me when I was little. And again, I, that's why I display it very high so the kids don't break it. And it makes music and it lights up. And then this year's Santa picture also with some snow globes. And then past Santa pictures. And then their little piano that my dad got, my um, Naraya, when she was younger. Or a baby, I should say, because she's still little. But here's this year's Santa picture. And then the little that I have going on here. Little village. And then Santa pictures. All right here is my table. And I just like kind of put this table centerpiece together. It's a deer, a tree, and a sleigh. And I bought them all at Dollar Tree. They're super cute. I love them. And I feel like they go well together. I didn't want this runner, but I couldn't find one. I wanted more of a plaid one, but I couldn't find it. Everything was just piling up on me. And then we, before you knew it, we were just shopping for gifts. So I forgot about Christmas decor, but there's that. And then in the back, I do have a little chair that goes to this table, but I just put it back there with like a blanket and a pillow but to make it look more cozy. So this wreath is actually from Dollar Tree. I just kind of fluffed it out, put a burlap bow, and then some little jingles. So like when you open the door, you hear that. But I just put it right here to give the door a little decoration. Now to my favorite part of the house, which is my kitchen. You're gonna see my island. I have my placemats, which I didn't get to replace. I wanted red ones that were glittery. I just, I don't know why I didn't buy them. I'll probably buy them later. But this is my little cookie jar. My mom got it for me last year as a Christmas gift, and I love it. It reminds me of my black lab that I had when I was younger. He, somebody poisoned him, so unfortunately he passed but I was devastated when that happened. So when my mom brought me this, I was like, oh my God, it's so cute and it's a Christmas dog. I don't think it's a lab, but it definitely reminded me of my lab. And it's 
it's just so cute. It has a little scarf, a little Santa hat, and it opens from the head. And the good thing about my cookie jars, I know a lot of people just use them for aesthetic, but I actually have cookies in them. So when you come to my house and you see the cookie jar, you know there's cookies in it. <laughs> I just don't tell the kids. But there is that cookie jar sits in the middle of my island. I didn't have anything to put right there and I had this somewhere else but I was like you know what it needs to be displayed like people need to see this when they come into my house not it be hidden. So I just put it right here and I feel like it looks super cute. I also have a doormat. This is supposed to be a doormat but I used it as a kitchen mat and it says be merry it has a little deer it has a checkered pattern it has snowflakes and i got it for five dollars and it's very very good quality i got it at family dollar on my microwave i have this salt and pepper shaker it's a christmas tree with a red truck again i don't have a theme i just love everything christmas and that was the salt and pepper shaker that stood out to me. It was two bucks and I got it at Family Dollar. Then you go above my microwave and I have a Seasons greeting sign and it's very glittery. My mom gave it to me a while ago so I've had this since I moved into my house and I love it. Right by my refrigerator, I have pictures of the kids that I took by the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, you're not going to be able to see them. I'll probably get a better clip for you guys, but I have them right next to my refrigerator. And then on my refrigerator, I have refrigerator magnets, and the kids put them on. On my stove, I have this little kitchen towel that is... Very cute. I got it at Dollar Tree. It's just very Christmassy. It has Let It Snow, Christmas, Joy, Mary, Noel. I just, I really like it. It doesn't, like I said, I don't have a theme. I just like Christmas. Then above my stove is my Christmas sign. It says Merry Christmas. It's wood. It has a glitter. It has a mistletoe. And it's cute. <laughs> But there is that. And then above my stove, I have a cute wreath that I made last year. And all of this I got at the Dollar Tree. It was very easy. And it's just a very simple wreath. And it looks very cute above my stove. And if you guys want a more in detailed video of my coffee bar, the link will be right here. You guys can click that and I will show you more in detail of this. But this is my little coffee bar area. My little nutcracker. Now on to my favorite part of the house, the kitchen, everything is my garland above my cabinets. I've always wanted to do this and I finally did and I feel like it came out super cute. I wish it was a little bit more fluffier on the garland part but that will have to be next time. I did the best that I could and at night it looks super cute. I'll put a clip in of it at night but it just lights up the entire house we don't even need to put our tree lights on saves us electricity <laughs> but i have my little matching angel up there it's a little candle holder i'll go in more detailed right now but it's just so cute <laughs> the way it 
it came out uh, I'm very satisfied and the only thing I would change would be the garland I wish it was a little bit more fluffier but it still works it still does the job and it's still super cute but that's how my kitchen looks my favorite part of the house And then here's the view right here. When I come wake up in the morning, I see my beautiful tree and my little shelf that I love. All right, everybody. So that was my Christmas house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked it. Um, this year, I feel like it's everything. Like, I love it. Um, I wish I could do so much more. Like, if somebody gave me, like, $1,000 just for Christmas decor, my whole house would be, like, a winter wonderland. <laughs> But, um, yeah, even a hundred dollars. If someone just said, here's a hundred dollars, go buy anything you want for your Christmas decorations. Oh my God, I'd be living. But this is what the best that I could do for now. And I love it. Like, it just feels so cozy. It feels so very, like, festive. And the kids love it. Like, my husband likes it. I know he likes it. Because the moment I start decorating, like, he gets all into the Christmas spirit. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. Click that subscribe button for more videos. And I will catch you guys in our next Vlogmas video. Bye, guys.